Hello, hello, how are you? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Jairo? Nice. Nice, excellent. How was your weekend? What did you do on the weekend? Besides working, toda la gente me dice, solo trabajé. So, besides working, what did you do in the weekend? Just work. I said, besides working, is there something else you did? I sleep all day. Okay. Okay. ¿Cómo diría yo dormí o yo estuve durmiendo todo el día? Besides working. I have been asleep all day. Ah, okay. Oh, I have been sleeping. He estado durmiendo, okay? Oh, I have been slept. He estado dormido. Okay, I have been slept all day. All right. How was your weekend, Isaura? My weekend go, was very well. Okay, did you work? I visit my friends. Visited. And I was a party. I had a party. Tuve una fiesta. I, you had a party. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, guys. I know. I don't know what's going on with the rest, but it is actually three minutes later than usual. So we will start the, the class right now. We should finish the... Um, um, let's see... Welcome. How are you, Francisco? How was your weekend? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. I have weekend relax. Uh, or a relaxed weekend. All right, a relaxing weekend. All right, nice. Uh, did you go out somewhere? Uh, no, uh, I stay in my home today, okay. Saturday and Monday. Saturday and Sunday. Okay, nice. So you rested a lot, right? Nice. Good. So remember, guys, the last part we were studying uh, was the adverbial clause of time, right? What were the adverbial clauses that we studied? ¿Cuáles fueron de las que nos podemos acordar? Uh -huh. Hello, Ana Silvia. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Do you remember? The adverbial clauses when, of time. When, the most common was when, uh -huh, when but there were some others. Before, after. Before, after. Yes. Last year. Mm. Size. Since. 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 Before, after, ago, right? Ago. Okay. Etc. Very good. So we already know that the the order of these expressions or these clauses, um, pequeñas cláusulas, verdad, pueden ir al inicio o al final de la oración, verdad. We have two dependent, uh, two clauses, la independiente o la independiente. Okay. Obviamente la independiente no necesita, no la independiente no necesita otra oración para que tenga sentido, ¿verdad? Pero si solo digo, when the party starts, ¿qué sentido tiene cuando la fiesta comienza? What happened? Ajá, que ahí tengo que decir, pero ¿qué pasa? ¿Ok? Ya si, si solo digo, when the party starts, no tiene sentido. Entonces, ¿qué mm -hmm. es una dependent or independent clause? Independent clause. No. Dependent. Depende de la, de la otra Depend. para que tenga Sorry. sentido. Ajá. Depend. No, don't worry, guys. Don't worry. So, we already watched the video. Sí o no, si no, no, que vimos este videito. Yes. So, we can continue. We can move on with the, uh, the 3.13. And we are going to do a knowledge check right now. Can you help me read instructions? Somebody? Instructions, instructions. Somebody, Francisco, go. Instruction, read this sentence and match this for phrases. 
phrases with the information below. Nice. Thank you, Francisco. Uh, vamos a hacer más, más así como shun, shun, aquí, instructions. Instructions. Yeah, good job. Esta T suena como ch. Instructions. Sentences, plural. Sentences, all right? These phrases, okay? Information. Shun, shun. Read it one more time. Hoy sí, de corrido. Go. Okay, instruction, read this sentence and match the phrase with the information below. All right, sentences. Acuérdese que aquí es plural. So sentences and phrases with the information below. Okay, so help me with the number one. Who wants to read the number one? I wait, me avisan. Sorry, teacher, what do you want? Read the number one. You're not paying attention, guys. La, ¿Quién me ayuda con la primera y que me dé la respuesta, please? Continue. Dele, pues, Francisco. Solo usted quiere leer, dele. Solo, solo con usted vamos a estar en la clase. Come on. Okay. Number one. Before a man and woman get married, they usually... And number one, pays for the wedding and reception, or go on short trip, call it a honeymoon, or give the bride and groom a gift for money, some money, or give the woman a diamond ride. I think the answer is uh, uh, gives the woman a diamond right ring. A diamond ring. Okay. Before a man get married, they usually. They usually, en este caso sería, no sería gives porque estamos hablando que they usually. Ellos usualmente, they usually. Again, to play the wedding. Date, uh, date each other for about a year. A year. Ah, okay, nice, thank you. Okay. So they date each other, si sí, antes can, date significa que andan, ¿verdad? O sea, que se, se ven o tienen cita por por lo menos un año, right? Alrededor, uh, around a year. Okay. And the next, number two, or who wants to read the number two? Okay, ya yeah, Mayra y Avid, que está ocupadita, va manejando, Rebeca está en el trabajo. I know what happens to you already. So number two. When a couple gets engaged, engaged, the man asks, engaged, engaged, engaged. When a couple gets engaged, the en man asks, engaged, engaged, engaged. <laughs> I know it's a very <laughs> difficult word. A couple Sorry. gets engaged, gets engaged. O sea, ¿qué significa get engaged? Comprometerse. Comprometer. Get compromised, right? Thank you. Yeah, get compromised. Thank you. So the man often, what is the answer? Ana Silvia? Gives the woman a diamond ring. Right, ring. Ring, okay. A ring. diamond, diamond ring. Okay. Diamond ring. Nice. And the number three, who wants to read it? Right after a couple gets engaged, they usually begin to plan a wedding. Begin to plan, begin to plan a wedding, all right? Begin to plan a wedding or that wedding. And number four, who wants to read it? 
me. Tell me, tell me, Glendy. When a woman gets married, her family usually pays for the wedding and reception. Okay. A woman gets married. That is a tradition here in El Salvador, right? That uh, the uh, their family or their her parents usually pay for the for the reception or the wedding. All right. What about number five? What do you think? When people are invited to a wedding, they almost always give the bride and groom a gift or some money. Okay, repeat it. Bride. Bride. Okay, give the bride and groom a gift for someone or some money. Que alguna, eh, digamos un tip, a tip for you guys, siempre que vean que una palabra termina con una E, siempre se pronuncia como los sonidos largos. Ok, ¿Qué, a, ¿a qué nos referimos con los sonidos largos? A, I, E, O, U. Ok, cualquier otro, otra palabra que vean que termina con E, entonces aquí no pronuncio la I como la, la I latina, sino que bride, por ejemplo. Les voy a poner otro ejemplo, porque yo sé que les va a ayudar para toda su vida. Drive, miren, no digo drip, ¿verdad? Termina con E, la pronuncio como A, I, O, U. Por ejemplo, brave, miren, brave, o sea, como el corazón valiente, brave. Termina con E, por lo tanto no digo brave, digo brave también, ¿ok? ¿Cuál otra? etcétera. Se me, se me han olvidado, pero siempre que veamos una, eh, una palabra así, pronunciamos la E, la letra que le precede la, la sílaba previa como forma larga. ¿Por qué? Tenemos formas largas que si se fijan dice cap o el policía, ¿ya? Pero si le pongo cape, lleva la E, ya no digo cap, digo cape, ¿ok? ¿Me, me explico? Por ejemplo, um, bueno, hay excepciones. Por ejemplo, live, ¿verdad? Esa sí es una excepción. ¿Ok? Um, universe. Bueno, también termina con E. Aquí le digo como you, etc. Hay, hay un montón de casos que cambian, por ejemplo, and I don't remember, si sí se me ha olvidado, porque hay un montón de palabras que terminan con E y cambian completamente su significado y su pronunciation, ok, so the next, eh, I believe that we're done with this exercise, Renato, yo sé que me levantó la mano, así que disculpe, help me with the number six, ok, right after a couple gets married, they usually uh, go on a short trip called a uh, honeymoon. Called a honeymoon. Yeah, good job. Nice. The next. Next, next, next. Uh, who wants to read the instructions? Oh, I'm sorry, the lesson objective. Okay. Hello, Nazario. Nice to see you. A Evelyn no le digo nada. Hello, teacher. Nunca la veo. No, no le puedo decir nice to see you porque nunca la veo, ¿verdad? Really But, sorry, I was in trouble with the link. Usted me mandó un, un link, eh, una, un mensajito, Nazario. Yes, I... Sorry, pero es que yo Don't worry. no lo tengo, fíjese. Yo solo entro a Zoom y de un solo lo... Sí, pero eh, sí, guys, la próxima vez si tienen problemas, yo creo que ustedes sí en el correo les sale el link que, 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 que ocupamos para la clase, ¿verdad? ¿O no? Entonces, cualquier... Es que yo no sé problema... si lo cambiaron, Teche, perdón. No sé si lo cambiaron porque el que yo estaba usando me aparece en el horario de 8 a 9. No sé si lo cambiaron o qué, por eso lo solicité. Le sí. pedí a Natalia que me lo, que me lo enviara de nuevo. Bah, por lo Pero menos, me imagino que hasta mañana. Me pudieron ayudar entonces eh, con, con su problemita. Sorry, pero créanme que a veces no estoy tan pendiente del teléfono. Yo solo vi, pero yo así como que 
ni me fijé, bueno, no sabía que era usted porque pensé que ni siquiera me fijé la hora que me lo mandaron. So, sorry about it, uh, but next time a mí pídale ayuda en el grupo, ¿verdad? Porque yo en la clase no siempre estoy como que tan pendiente de mi chat. Ok, so sorry. Can you read the instructions? Ya que vino, ayúdame, help me read. That's right. Let me Go. see. Just right now. Mm -hmm. In this class, you will practice your reading skills for better. Um, understanding. Understand, yeah. Understanding when scanning for specific information and understanding reverence words. Reference words. Ok, thank you. Uh, then we are going to do a reading. Aquí vamos a hacer una pequeña lectura. Ok. Uh, how do you pronounce this? Si se fijan. Unique. 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 Customs. Ok. So, read the instructions. David, nice to see you as well. Tell me. Can you read the instructions? Instructions. Read the article. Based on the article, decide what these words refer to. Choose the right answer. Thank you. Choose the right answer. Nice. And then we're going to read the, um, the Unique Customs article. Okay. It's not a big deal. Uh, do you see it very well, guys? No sé si lo pueden ver bien o, o busco otra forma de ponérselos. Okay, so it looks well. It's teacher. a little blurry, sí, verdad? Un poquito, se ve poquito raro, pero, pero si alcanza a distinguir, ¿ok? ¿Ok? Ok, so, look at the photos. What do you think is happening in each picture? Ok, um, um, who wants to read? Oh, sí, vamos a leer un párrafo cada uno. Así que raise your hand if you want to read the first one, el segundo, el the third one, etc., etc., etc. Ahí veo que, que Mayra quiere leer, ¿verdad? Los demás, pues, entonces solo Mayra va a leer, vaya. Mayra, ¿ya? Mi teacher. ¿Verdad que sí? Vaya, también Evelyn. Ok, nice. Vaya, pues, ahí estamos. Vamos a comenzar con Mayra. Right, Mayra? Yes? Yes, good evening. Eh, good evening, good evening. Después me levantó la mano David. Vi que Evelyn me, no levantó la mano, pero dijo mi teacher, así que vamos a pedirle a... Usted es el tercero. You read the third one, Evelyn. Uh, the, um, the fourth one... ¿Por qué me baja la mano? Nazario vi que la había levantado. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. That's right. So you read the number four and Francisco the number five. Ahí les tenemos a los cinco que van a leer ahora. Come on, go. Para esta one. Yes. January. 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 17th. January seventeenth. Uh huh. January seventeenth is Saint Anthony's Day in Mexico. It's a day when people ask for protection for their animals by their, bringing their, their animals, their animals by bringing, bringing, them bringing, to, bringing, no, bringing, 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 bringing. Mm -hmm. then to church. But before the animals go into the church, the people usually dress them up in flowers and ribbons. Flowers and ribbons, all right? Dress them up. Flowers. ¿Se acuerdan que es una expresión una sola? Dress them up, okay? ¿Se acuerdan cómo leer up. los phrasal verbs, right? Dress them up in flowers. El sonido yeah. es como una aquí. Flowers and ribbons, all right? Second, um, who wants to read that? Ya les dije, así que den en ustedes. Ya perdí el orden. On August 15th, okay. the lunar calendar Koreans. The lunar calendar, two. calendar, till the key. Calendar. On August 15th of the lunar calendar, Koreans celebrate Chuseok, also known as Korean Thanksgiving. It's a day when people give thanks for the harvest. Korean families honor their ancestors by honor. going to their grave. 
Honor. Honor. So Bia families honor their ancestors by going to their graves to take them rice and fruit and clean the grave site. Okay, nice, good, good pronunciation. Number three. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the fourth. Forget the fourth it, forget bar. it. Continue, Nazario. Alguien más que quiera leer? Después Francisco okay. y el quinto. Quien, who wants to read the, first, the fifth one? El último que lee. Y sabes que no me ha leído hoy. Okay, I'm gonna, long ago in India, a princess who needed help sent, sent, her, sent, sent her silk bracelet to an emperor. Bracelet to an emperor. Also, he did not arrive although, in time. Although, he did not arrive in time to help her. He kept the bracelet as Espérame, espérame, espérame. Eh, eh, mire, pero Evelyn, si uno va a leer, póngale mute porque se oye mucho ruido, fíjense. Y nos está como interrumpiendo en la clase. Va a sí, lo que sucede es que yo pensé, o sea, que le había dicho a mí, pensé que iba a decir el segundo, pero el otro compañero lo dijo. Entonces, eh, después le entendí yo que era el cuarto, ¿verdad? Pero sí, ahorita quito el... el, el Micrófono. Vaya, les dije, ya les, ya les había explicado cuál era el orden, ¿verdad? A mí se me olvidó, yo simplemente vi quiénes, a quiénes les, les había dicho cómo, cuál iban a leer. Así que, continue, Nazario, and sorry for the interruption. Don't worry, I, I want to start again. Go. Long ago, in India, a princess who needed help sent her silk bracelet to an emperor, although... He did not arrive in time to help her. He kept the bracelet as a sign of the bond between them. Today in India, during the festival of Rocky, men promise to be a loyal promise. to the woman. Promise to be loyal to the woman. Women. In, plural, in women, women, woman, women. Con la a. women, con eh, plural, we, okay, con women. I. Mm -hmm. Women. Women. In exchange, the women give them a bracelet of silk, cotton, okay. or gold thread. Thread, all right, thread. Thread, uh, thread, 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 thread. Okay, a bracelet, bracelet, okay. Thank you. Okay, and then we continue. Del entonces Evelyn y por último Francisco, okay. Okay, uh, one of the biggest celebrates in Argentina is New York. Argentina. Okay. Argentina in New York. If on the evening of December Pere, 31. Un punto, dele, dele pausa, okay. One of the biggest mm -hmm. celebrations in Argentina is New Year's Eve. Punto. On the evening of December the 31st. Si estamos hablando de fechas, las decimos con números ordinales, ok continue ok uh, family, families get together and have a big meal at midnight at midnight at midnight porque hat, hat, sombrero at midnight at midnight that's good for your work, explore it, everyone And explode, continue. explode. Las e tampoco se pronuncian al final, tampoco, right? Mm -hmm. Explode, everyone, and continue throughout, throughout, throughout the night. Mm -hmm. This is a when friends and families meet for parties within last until which last. The next las cuales duran, las, which, which last until, which last until the next morning. Yeah, thank you. Uh, let okay. me do something. Vaya. Before I continue, Francisco, permítame, porque si le borro lo rojito, no, eh, eh, no, no me voy a acordar de la pronunciation. Yo sé que si uno me lo dijo, 
diferente. Tal vez algunos otros no se recuerdan cómo se pronuncia. So, everybody will practice the pronunciation here. There. 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 There animals. There, there animals. Dress them up. Dress them up. Dress them up. Flowers. 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 Very good. Calendar. 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 Honor. Yo sé que las J, honor. las H se pronuncian como J, ¿verdad? Pero en este caso no. Es honor, como hour también, ¿verdad? Honor, honor hour. Mmm, eh, todavía no sé por qué las pronuncian como mudas y las otras como J. Las otras, las otras. Pero sí, en algún momento vamos a averiguar, primero Dios, cuál es el tip que los gringos, por qué los gringos dicen aquí con, con ho y en otros casos lo dicen como, como una muda, ¿ok? So, honor, although, a pesar de que él, although, although he did, ajá, um, women, woman, así, woman es, no, woman, no, cry con a, igual que man, sí, man, men, el plural, men, ¿ok? Eh, pero en plural, la, la palabra mujeres se pronuncia como i aquí, ¿ok? Women. Y es singular, se dice? Woman. Woman, all right, nice. Promise, promise, promise. Promise. Thread. Promise. El sonido de la Z española, ¿verdad? De la Z de los Thread. españoles. Thread, ¿ok? Um, fireworks, acuérdense de pronunciar las, e, las, las, las letras S, porque sí, eso significa plural. Pueden denotar también, si le pongo la S y, y digo Vilma, y le pongo la S, digo Vilma's class, la clase de Vilma. Entonces, sí es importante mencionar la S al final. ¿Ok? Explode, acuérdense las S, no se pronuncian. Explode no se pronuncian al final de las palabras. Eh, y ahí estamos, ¿ok? Va, voy a borrar todo para subirle el... para que se vea un poquito mejor, ¿ok? Go, Francisco. Ok, number five. On the evening of February 3, people in Japan celebrate the end of winter and the beginning of spring. This is now has sent subun. Family members throw dry beans around their homes, shooting, good looking, every spirit out. After they throw the beans, they pick them, they pick, pick them up. Pick them up. Mm -hmm. Pick, pick them, up. them up. And eat one bean for each year of the aging. aging. Of the A, of their age, de su edad, age. Age. Age, yeah. okay. People celebrate the end of winter at the beginning of spring. This is known, conocido, la N me le faltó decir aquí, known, conocido, ¿verdad? Solo know es como, I know, teacher, ya, ya sé, teacher, ¿verdad? I know, pero si lleva la N es known, known, okay. Eh, remember throw, aquí ten, eh, también es una Z española, throw. Come on, throw. Throw. Yeah, good job. Y shouting, gritando. Shooting es así, mire, con doble O. Shoot. Pero aquí es show con una I, con una U. Entonces es shout. Shouting. Shout. Okay. Shouting. Shouting. Uh -huh. Shouting. Y nada más esa I. Por último, age. Age, age. nuestra edad. Me dijo age. Y ese es el pasado del verbo eat. Así que acá está en presente. Eat, eight. Eat, eight. ¿Ok? Ok. Vaya, pues, para todos, chicos, porque varias personas me dicen eight y eight es el pasado, ¿verdad? Se escribe así, a ti. ¿Ok? Y si no es, ¿cómo se dice aquí? Eat. Eat, ¿ok? Eat. It, como el payaso, solo que lo pronuncio más largo, ¿verdad? It, all right, it, ajá. Uh -huh. Nice, so, nice pronunciation, guys. Qué bueno 
Hoy sí um, vamos a contestar las preguntitas. Let's answer your questions. According to the paragraph, okay, for example, Anthony's Day, what is celebrated? Anthony's Day. ¿A dónde era, dijeron? Mexico. In Mexico? Nice, Mexico. Mexico. When do they celebrate el Chusok? Chusok. In Korea. In Korea, all right. When do they celebrate the Rocky? India. In India. India, all right. And when do they celebrate New Year's Eve? In toda America Latina. Pero aquí está hablando de... Argentina. Argentina, all right. Argentina, okay. Uh, finally, el set sabun. Set sabun. In Japan. In Japan, okay, nice. So let's move on. The 3.13. No, ese no era. Adverbia cost of time. Yeah, esta era. 13 point, the 3.13. So the part one, the part two. Analicemos entonces, ¿cuál era la idea acá? Leer, ¿verdad? Así de hacer, de hacer un medio escáner de lo que estamos leyendo y saber que no solo leemos por leer, sino que entendemos lo que leemos, ¿verdad? Ok. But the, uh, the question here, ok. The number one. Part two, line one. ¿A qué se refiere con them? Animals. Ajá, very good. Está hablando de los, para Animal. traerles a ellos a las iglesias, dice, ¿verdad? Hablando de los animales. Very good. They're talking about animals. And it, part two, line two, la segunda parte de segunda línea. ¿A qué se refiere el it? Eso. To suck. To suck. To suck. The to suck. So about the tradition chusok okay there part two line four there korean family korean, korean family. family okay nice korean families and the number four them part three in line five man the line five is a man one, two, there three, men. four, five. There are women in change. They would give, give them. Okay. Sí, les dan, ¿verdad? Okay. Mm, the women give them. Muy bien. Los, las mujeres le dan a los hombres. Thank you. And this part four line, uh, uh, the part four in line four. One Need of the you, biggest. Aha. Yeah. Uh -huh. New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Okay, nice. And finally, we have something else. Then part five and five line, uh, line five, sorry. Five, five. Siempre el dem, de qué está hablando ahí. Beans. De los Beans. frijoles, ¿verdad? Los tiran y luego los recogen. Dice, ok, nice. Nice. The next. Now we will start with the midterm. Ok. Midterm exam. Circle the words. Instructions. Can somebody read? Ay, si me duele la garganta. Instructions. Read the sentences and choose the correct part of the two part verbs missing. ¿Qué era two, bar, two part verbs? <laughs> They are the phrasal verbs. Exactly. Phrasal, phrasal verbs, ¿verdad? Es un verbo que tiene una preposición 
o formado por otros dos verbos, tal vez. All right? But especially with preposition. Okay? Um, so, number one. Este está bien fácil, vea. Uh -huh. Number one. Please clean up. Clean up. Bedroom. Up. Clean up. Bedroom. Up. Yeah. Clean up the bedroom. It's really a mess. All right. It's really a mess. Number two. Help me. Would you please put put away the groceries in the in the kitchen? Away. Put away the groceries. Put away. In the kitchen. Put away. Okay. The number three. Can you turn down? Okay. Turn down. ¿Qué era eso? Turn down. Bajar, bajar. Bajarle, ¿verdad? Exacto. Poner más suave la tele, ¿ok? O, o cualquier otra cosa. Eh, puede ser um, the air conditioning. You can say about the, the radio, right? Um, the stereo. And part two, help me read the instructions. Que no me ha ayudado hoy, Nubia. No me ha ayudado a leer para nada. Come on, Rubia. Muy callada la veo hoy. You're too quiet today. Hello. Hello. I can hear you. Okay. Uh, instruction. Read the sentence and choose between... Sent and Sentence and choose between an infinite infinitive or a gerund. Okay, choose between an infinitive or a gerund. Escojamos entonces si es un infinitivo o gerundio. Okay. Um, hmm, that's a good question. Aquí tenemos una, un buen ejemplo. Okay. Um, Primero, acordémonos, después de una preposición ocupamos gerundios, ¿ok? Y hay una lista, ¿verdad? No sé si a ustedes les dejé un pequeño listado de que aprendieran gerundios, que significaba después de que un gerun... después que de ciertos verbos ocupamos un verbo, pero con forma que va con ing. Ok, dos reglas. Wait a moment, guys. I have very, very, very few charge. The rules. Just a second. I need to charge myself. Okay. So. Dos cosas para cuando ocupar un infinitivo, las reglas que eran when to use an infinitive o how to recognize an infinitive or a gerund. Ajá. ¿Se acuerdan del tip de cómo yes. identificar un infinitive? Toda ver. Mhm. And a preposition. Si va una preposition, ocupamos un gerundio. Una regla, ok. La que les acabo de decir. Pero hay otra forma también. Que obviamente el gerundio es con... ING. The verb is a base form. ING. Yes, to... ING, sorry. ING. Y esta es la I, miren. Ok. ING. Nice. So, exacto. Si es un infinitivo, lleva la partícula tú y el verbo se queda sin cambiar, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? Y obviamente si pongo for, voy a poner el verbo con ing. ¿Sí? Aquí, aquí estamos hablando, esto es un infinitivo, este no está correcto, este sí. Porque va el tú con infinitivo y el for con ing. ¿Estamos? ¿Yes? Yes. Nice. Yes. Nice, sí. Uh, can you help me read the number uh, one? Please tell me the, tell me, read the sentence. Leamos y me dan la respuesta. ¿Cuál sería la forma correcta? For cooking or to cook. Ya sé que esta no, vea, esta no. 
Cook, cook. For cooking. For cooking. For cooking. Microwaves. 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 Microwaves.
as dejar de hacer una actividad para continuar con otra. Got it? Y etcétera, etcétera, etcétera. Ahí se van a dar gusto con el link y si no, pues yo se los mando después. Pero aquí creo que ahí, se, ahí va el link para que ustedes vean la diferencia, ¿verdad? En qué, en, en qué significa eh, o qué quiere dar a entender cuando ocupamos ya sea un gerundio o en este caso que estemos ocupando un infinitive, ¿ok? You can use my cell phone. Uh -huh. What is the answer? To live. The number four. Can you read it? Don't forget to take your ATM card with you. Mm -hmm. Very good. And to take, don't forget to take that. Okay. Igual ahí van a ver un ejemplo de forget. Cuando ocupar forget. Con ING, creo que está también aquí. Mm, ya, yeah, ahí está, forget or remember también. Se ocupa con ING o si se ocupa con un infinitive. Tienen doble significado, ¿ok? So, check, check that link, please. Le va a servir un montón, ¿ok? Any question? Espero no haberlos confundido más. No. Okay, rewriting. So rewrite the sentences. Help me read the instructions. Rewrite the sentences. Use the correct form of the word given. Remember to add a question mark at the end of your question. Do uh, your request. <laughs> your request. Okay. Uh, repeat this word, please, Brandy. Glendy. Correct. Correct. All right. Correct. Nice. Uh, so, uh, help me. Help me with the number one, guys. Okay. ¿Cómo se hace entonces su petición más formal? Could you close the door, please? Okay. Could you close the door, please? Close the door, eso es como una orden, ¿verdad? Close the door, pero usted lo está haciendo más como polite, haciendo una solicitud. Ok, T uh, tell me the number two. Would you please take out the garbage? Would you please take out the garbage? Thank you, Ana Silvia. Good. So, creo que ya lo tengo lleno aquí. Okay. Would you please take out the garbage? Podría decir take the garbage out. ¿Qué piensan? Yes. Of course you can. Mm -hmm. um, take the garbage out también o take out the garbage. ¿Se acuerdan de que media vez tenga... Um, un objeto que no sea un pronombre, sí puedo poner esto en medio, ¿verdad? Yes, pero no decir take out it, no, take it out, sí, pero si no, no. Number three. Would you mind, uh, would you mind not sit, sitting there? Ajá, ¿por qué no sitting? Very good, Francisco. Sería would you mind también, ¿verdad? Para hacerlo más así polite, you can say would you mind. ¿Por qué ponemos sitting? Y con doble T, ¿quién se acuerda? Because it is sit. Mm, no, de hecho es lo correcto, como está diciendo Francisco, pero ¿por qué? Ajá. Porque es un verbo monosílabo, se le dobla la, la última. Primero, como ya es monosílabo, sí le doblo la T, ¿verdad? Y obviamente cuando exp ocupamos la expresión don't mind, wouldn't mind, etcétera, siempre que lleva esta palabrita mind, vamos a ocupar un gerundio, ¿ok? And the number four, help me, somebody, somebody, somebody.
Can you please take the cat out? Can you please take the cat out? Podríamos hacerlo de la otra forma. Pueden haber dos opciones. Yeah, please, can you? Can you please? Mm, no, no es el please. Take out the cat. Exactly. Take out the cat or take the cat out. Okay. Aquí está. Take the cat out. Can you please take the cat out? Can you please? Or si no, can you take out the cat? Okay. And number five. Could you please repeat that? Mm -hmm. Could you please repeat that? Eh, o podríamos también decir, could you repeat that, please? Ok, vamos a ver si nos toma esta correcta. Miren, sí, está correcta. ¿Qué okay, puse aquí mal? Please, le puse doble espacio. Ok. So we got 20 or 20. Letter C, help me read instructions. Instructions. Listen to the conversation. Check the correct answers. Okay, listen to the conversation and take the correct and check the correct answers. Let me know if you can hear. Siempre me pasa esto. Let me see if you can hear. Somebody. Mm -hmm. No, me da ha It doesn't let me do anything. Abrir con. This is not working. Oh, you see? Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hey, Stephanie, have you seen Richard recently? I've left him a few voicemails, but he never calls me back. Is he okay? He never calls me back either, but don't worry about him. He bought a new computer last week. So? So, he spends all day and night on his computer. He's become a total geek. Really? He never used to like computers. Well, he does now. He never goes out and has fun anymore. Two. Hey, Martha, can you come help me? I'm having computer problems. You? But you're such a technophile. You're always surfing the net. Yeah, but I don't know how to do everything. So what's the problem, Barry? Whoa, what are all these photos doing on the table? I'm trying to scan them so I can email them to friends. Oh, scanning is easy. Place the photo here. Be sure to put it face down and then double click on this. That's it? That was easy. Three. Guess what, Eva? I just bought a really cheap plane ticket online. Really? I always go to a travel agent to plan my vacations. Well, you can sometimes get cheaper tickets on the Internet. You should browse some websites. You have a computer at home, don't you? Yeah, but I never use it. Why not? What's wrong with it? Nothing. But my roommates are always playing games on it. When I tell them I need to use it, they say they're just going to finish the game, and then it's... So, number one, Four. what is the answer? Oh, no, todavía How no do you falta. like your new computer, Carlos? Actually, Heather, I prefer my old one. Really? Why? There are so many things I can't do. I don't know how to highlight text, drag and drop, or cut and paste. I could do all that on my old computer. And please don't tell me to read the manual. <laughs> Let's take one problem at a time. Okay. 
I want to highlight those two words. Just use your mouse, like this, and then press this key here. That was easy. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Now, what is the first answer? Help me read. Stephanie? Stephanie says Richard is geek. It's a geek. Okay. Que un geek, guys. It's a person that do something um, obsessivamente. <laughs> All right. Alguien también obsesionado, especialmente en computers. Okay, so Stephanie says Richard is a geek. Ah, okay. Uh, or somebody who is obsessed with anything, right? With something. Thank you, David. Says. Repeat. Says. Ajá, no es seis. Como el número en español. Es says. All right, says. Then, number two. Nobody? Agreed. Agreed. Read the complete answer, guys. <laughs> Stephanie and... Number two. Scan photographs. Barry asked Marta how to scan photographs. How to scan? How to scan Photographs. How to scan. How to scan. Number three, according to Eva. Her roommate use her computer a lot. Okay. And number four. I like text. Heather shows like Carlos. Text. No sean tan araganes, chicos. Carlos, si ustedes solo leen la, si ustedes solo leen la respuesta, no le, van, no, le da, no le dan sentido a la pregunta. Ok, so Heather shows Carlos how to use his, his new computer to highlight text. Highlight text, nice. Finally, we have listening and reading. El reading... Mm, solo vamos a ver qué tan largo es el reading, ya no nos queda tiempo porque como ahí estamos esperando que lean, ¿verdad? Y les pido que lean, se quedan callados, no aprovechamos el tiempo, así que ni modo, eso lo vamos a dejar para another day. Um, but I will give you the answers, lo único que vamos a hacer es leer las respuestas y yo les, eh, perdón, leer eso mañana. Y yo les doy la respuesta. Pero yo creo que ustedes ya lo hicieron. So, how did the teens respond to the neighbor's request? They didn't say anything. Thank you, David. Number two, what happens as a tree, as the tree was being chopped down? The, the, new, family new, the new family continued to put, to put it down. Very good. What happened? Uh, sorry, what is the problem with the dogs? They are, they are they outside. They are outside. Are outside. They are high barking yeah. all the time. And what was uh, what was Sally's advice? Let the police. Let the police know the problem. The police. Let the police know. Okay. Let the police solve the problems. Let's do. Let's do the final. Eh, solo nos queda la lectura, como les digo. Eso ya. Hoy sí, chicos, para mañana hay que hacer el midterm. Okay. Matching. ¿Cuál sería la respuesta aquí, guys? The mic chat with each other. Number two. They usually talk on the phone. When they have their first date, they often they often meet in a public place, such place, a place, such as a coffee shop. Okay, and after they meet for the first time, 
They, they sometimes, sometimes arrive another day. Arrive ah, yeah. Another Qué day. Qué bueno. Ya lo tienen ustedes, papá. Another day. They yeah. sometimes arrange to have another day. Vaya, pues mañana comenzamos la sección 4. See you tomorrow, guys. Take care. Pasen buenas noches. Que Dios me lo bendiga. Bye bye. Take care. Good night. See you, day. Night. See you later. Night. See you tomorrow. Bye.